Hey guys, it's Blu-ray update time. I did this, I guess it was about a year and a half ago. Uh, what I'm talking about is the last time I did a complete overview of my collection, which at that point was very brief. I just kind of skimmed over the shelves. So today, this is going to be the first part of, well, several, which I'll probably do over the course of the summer, just looking at my collection in detail. And just to mix things up a little bit, I always start these off with science fiction. Well, today, I'm going to start off with horror. So, there you go. Threw everyone for a loop. Uh, I think the way I'll do this is uh, we'll just do one shelf at a time, each part, and they'll be up, well, when they're up. If you're watching this one, obviously, the first part is up. So, without further ado, the first shelf of... Well, this will be horror, the Blu-ray section. We'll get down to the uh, DVDs a little bit later. Anyways, start things off. We've got Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Blu-ray set. Uh, I don't see any situation where that remake would ever grace these shelves, and I'm not going into it. Uh, and then we've got some more sets here. So you got The Exorcist, Complete Collection. Got a Nightmare on Elm Street, complete collection. Uh, then here, we have American Horror Story. So they got seasons one through four. So, first season, Asylum, Coven, which is the only one that doesn't have a slip cover, mainly because I waited too long to finally get it. And Freak Show. Now we're going into, I guess what we call more recent horror movies. Start off, we've got the Insidious collection. So, Insidious, Insidious 2, and of course, Insidious 3, another one I waited too long to get and ended up with no slipcover. And here we're going to probably one of the best modern day haunted house movies, uh, The Conjuring. I haven't seen the sequel yet. Then we have another awesome movie, Sinister. Uh, I picked this up last summer. Uh, it's not quite as good as The Conjuring, but it's definitely one of the better ones in the modern horror genre. Then, it's, shall we say, less impressive sequel. I'm not going to say this is completely as awful as a lot of people have claimed it is, but it definitely pales in comparison to the first one. Uh, Dark Skies, kind of an alien story, I guess. Maybe this could be in science fiction, but it's got more of a horror element to it. I, don't know, I actually really like this one. Uh, another awesome recent movie, It Follows. We got Karen Gillan, Oculus, Mama, still has a Walmart tag on it. Let's move these up a little bit so you can see them a little better. Uh, Annabelle, The Haunting in Connecticut. Then we got the two uh, Purge movies. I haven't seen the third one yet, but we got uh, The Purge and The Purge Anarchy. This next one was in a Blu-ray update I did a couple months ago, I guess. Uh, back in April? April or May, somewhere like that. But it's the uh, two Blu-ray set of The Hills Have Eyes. So this is the, uh, the the remake and then the sequel to the remake, not the original. Uh, classic horror movies, we've got The Haunting. I still have the, uh, the later piece of crap from what was it, 1999. Uh, yeah, it's still in the DVD section. Silent House, The Cabin in the Woods, both actually fairly decent movies. Uh, we got The Collector, lesser known movie, and then The Collection, the sequel to The uh, Collector, which I actually still have not watched. This is an awesome movie, uh, Shutter, I, uh, I can't talk. This is an awesome movie, Shutter Island, with Leonardo DiCaprio, and the classic, well, Recent classic, but still good movie, Drag Me to Hell. Ouija, which, to be honest, was not that great. Uh, Pandorum, awesome movie, but the other two were never made and probably never will be made. The original Poltergeist, with, uh, well, I, I suppose you could call it an art card, but really it's the regular DVD cover covered in spider webs. I don't know. Uh, then we got the remake, Poltergeist. I actually like this movie, but I know a lot of people don't. Here we've got uh, Steelbook, 
of the ring. Still has the backing on it. Okay, then we've got Silence of the Lambs. This has been around for a long time. Hannibal Rising. Uh, the other Hannibal Lecter movies are still my DVD collection. They've never actually been upgraded to Blu-ray. Here we've got The Last Days on Mars. Or 28 Days Later. Then its sequel, 28 Weeks Later. The original The Thing, that not so fondly remembered remake, The Thing, or reboot. Case 39, uh, was kind of a bargain bin find. First, uh, The Woman in Black. The only Final Destination I have on Blu-ray. And then Shyamalan and, well, it's upside down, but M. Night Shyamalan's Return to Fame. At least I really like this one, The Visit. So we're going to stop this video right here. And then we'll go and take a look at the bottom shelf. I'm actually going to take all the Blu-rays off the top shelf so they're not falling all over the place when I'm looking at the bottom shelf. But anyways, uh, that's enough rambling for uh, this update. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a good day.